Hi, I am Sudhakar and today we will discuss biological nitrogen fixation. The nitrogen fixation in which living organisms are involved is called as a biological nitrogen fixation. And the microbes having the ability of nitrogen fixation are called as a diazotrophs. Biological nitrogen fixation contributes to about 90% of total global nitrogen fixation. That means this is very important process. Today we will discuss the symbiotic nitrogen fixation. Here the diazotrophs forms specific association with a specific host. Now how? Let us see. The diazotrophs forms association in two forms. In certain cases, the association results in formation of root nodules. So, nodulation is present. Whereas in some other cases, there is no formation of root nodules. So, association is without nodules. In nodule forming bacteria, we can have a common example of rhizobium, which forms a specific association with leguminous plants, like as the soybean, groundnut, sisa, red gram cowpeas or the pisum sativum. All these examples are the examples of leguminous plant and we can see the root nodules on the root system of these plants. The second example is a prankia which forms root nodules on large trees like as a cajurina. In non-modulating diazotrophs, bejerinkia forms association with sugarcane, a cash crop and Azotobacter forms association with number of monopod plants, specifically the cereal crops like as a maize, wheat, rice, even sugarcane, etc. That means if we could apply these biological nitrogen fixes in our field as a biofertilizer, it can save a huge amount of money which we will need to spend on nitrogen fertilizers. Now, in this video, we will discuss the root nodule formation in the leguminous plants and the actual mechanism of nitrogen fixation by the enzyme nitrogenase. So let us start with the process of root nodule formation. Now understand one thing that these bacteria, diazotrophs, are present in the soil. In the same soil, number of crops and weeds, number of monocots and dicots are growing. So they will have their own root system which is growing in the rhizosphere. Now the problem is that how the bacteria recognize their specific host and how the host invites the specific bacteria for their association. Now this mechanism is a very interesting mechanism. The host plants, specifically the leguminous plants, their root system secretes flavonoids and these flavonoids attract a specific rhizobium towards itself. The rhizobium secretes cytokinin, the growth regulator, and polymixin B. It helps to form association with the root nodule. Now, once the association is produced, there is formation of infection thread. And infection thread is produced by invasion of the bacteria in the root hairs. Now, this is not penetration of the bacteria. Suppose this is a root, node, root hair and the bacteria are forming association at this point they will turn the outer side towards inner side and in this way they will go through this folding and this folding is called as invasion. The invasion will reach up to the cortical region and once the bacteria reach cortical region they are liberated, they are set free in the cortical region. Now in the cortex the diazotrophs they replicate rapidly. And they will produce number of bacteria which are imperfect bacteria and they are called as a bacteroids. The bacteroids initiate cell division in the root hairs, the root cortical zone. It will result in formation of nodule. So in this way, the root nodules are produced in leguminous plants. Now let us see it diagrammatically. So here we can see the leguminous plants have root hair which secretes flavonoids. The flavonoids attract the specific rhizobium towards it. Rhizobium forms an uh, infection thread. The infection thread reaches up to the cortical region where the bacteria are released. Bacteria multiply to form number of bacterioids. And finally, the bacterioids induces cell division to produce these root nodules. So in this way, 
the host specific association is formed in the soil now let us see the process of nitrogen fixation the actual mechanism we know that in this process the key player is enzyme nitrogenase this is very significant enzyme because the microbes in which this enzyme is secret only they can fix atmospheric nitrogen no other living organism can fix nitrogen so this is a key player but the thing is that nitrogenase is very shy to oxygen it is sensitive to oxygen nitrogenase will not work in presence of oxygen now here the host plants have the diazotrope host plants produces a specific room for this process this room is nothing else but the root nodule itself now in a root nodule the pigment leg hemoglobin will increase in its concentration leg hemoglobin reacts with oxygen to form oxidized leg hemoglobin and in this way it will excavate the excess oxygen from the root nodules and produces the comfortable zone for nitrogen fixation for the activity of enzyme nitrogenase the enzyme nitrogenase is a complex enzyme complex protein it has two subunits the first one is called as dinitrogen reductase this is a smaller subunit which is also called as iron protein fe protein now the main function of smaller subunit is to transfer the electrons to the larger subunit so it will provide the electrons for the reduction of larger subunit the another subunit is called as a dinitrogen nitrogenase which is a larger subunit of this enzyme nitrogenase complex this is also known as molybdenum iron protein and the function of this protein is the actual reduction of nitrogen by addition of the electron and hydrogen and finally this nitrogen will be converted into ammonia the reduced form now the complex work in association with number of other cofactors namely nadph2 the ferrodoxin which provides electron reduced the ferrodoxin the nitrogenase complex itself magnesium works as a catalyst atp works as an energy source and nitrogen gas is the raw material for this process now let us see the structure diagrammatically now here we can see the enzyme nitrogenase has a smaller subunit nitrogenase reductase and the larger subunit dinitrogen nitrogenase in the first step the ferrodoxin reduced will transfer electrons to the smaller subunit and the iron molecule in this smaller subunit get reduced this reduced iron will donate electrons to moafe protein that is to the larger subunit where these electrons will be used to reduce the nitrogen gas now nitrogen gas is added with electrons and the hydrogen this hydrogen reducing uh, power is provided by nadph2 and finally the nitrogen molecular nitrogen is converted into ammonia now in this process one molecule of hydrogen is also evolved anaerobic conditions are created by leg hemoglobin and the excess hydrogen will be taken up by the enzyme hydrogenase the process of the reduction of nitrogen is a step wise process in each step two protons are added to the nitrogen initially the nitrogen forms nitrogen triple covalent bond with another nitrogen atom as there are three covalent bonds their strength is high strength and nitrogen gas is comparatively inert gas in the first step in presence of enzyme nitrogenase complex two protons and electrons will be added so one covalent bond will be broken down and two hydrogens will be added one to each of this nitrogen in this way the nitrogen gas forms diamide in the next step again two hydrogens are added with two electrons one more covalent bond is broken down and one hydrogen is added to each of this nitrogen diamide produces hydrazine and in the final step two more protons are added the hydrogens will be added to each of the nitrogen and we will have two molecules of ammonia the overall process can be written like this one the nitrogen reacts with eight proton and eight electrons 
it requires 16 atp for fixation of one nitrogen molecule it produces two ammonia molecule plus hydrogen plus 16 adp as the atp are digested into adp and inorganic phosphate here the hydrogen is produced excess which is taken up by the enzyme hydrogenase in this fashion molecular nitrogen is fixed in the form of ammonia now this process of the symbiotic association between the microbe and this living organism the host plant leguminous plant is going on for last thousand of years together and i am amazed as there is no ego for the leguminous plants as we provide the shelter and anaerobic conditions to you or there is no ego in the bacteroids that they fix the atmospheric nitrogen and supply this nitrogen to the host plant throughout these thousand of years they are working together whether we will be able to work in the same form of association with our partners when we help other to study the other gets benefited by our knowledge but at the same time on our side we get the revision of the knowledge so in this way our association will also build strong and this will help in the growth of both of the partners hope you understood how the nitrogen is fixed by symbiotic nitrogen fixers if you found this video useful please like share and subscribe see you in next video till then bye bye thank you